to make this flower here. Um, we have the lovely Gwen here. She's going to show us how to do it and she's going to tell you about everything you need. So take it away, Gwen. What are we going to do? Okay, so to make this flower, you need a sheet of felt, preferably this size, but this size will also do. You'll just have fewer petals. petals. Um, you need some florist's wire. You don't really need that, actually. Um, a sharp scissors and a glue gun. This is for kind of bending the wire, though, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of. It's if you need to cut it, but yeah, we don't probably don't actually need to cut it in this case. Okay. Um, and this is the type of glue gun that I use. It's a warm glue gun rather than a hot glue gun, which means you're less likely to burn yourself. Very good. Um, okay, so to start, um, you take your felt and you start cutting. So the first row is probably about this big. Um, so that's the smallest strip you're going to cut. Okay. Then what I do is I place that on it and then the next one should be a bit bigger. Okay. So you kind of leave... So maybe another five mils? Yeah, probably about another five mils. Okay. It doesn't matter if they're not perfectly straight, as these ones are not. Flowers are not perfect, Gwen. No, and also we're going to be trimming them down. Okay. They're, they're not going to be square petals. Okay, very good. So again, another five kind yeah. of? Yeah. And so you can continue it on. Yeah. Very good. So I'll do one more just to show you, but basically get the you, keep, idea. you keep doing it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this will do actually. So we can put that, that aside. Okay. So then the next step is to take your strips. So you'll probably have about seven or eight strips. Okay. Um, and then you just cut them into squares. Loose squares. Loose squares. It doesn't matter if they're slightly, and I mean, in that case, just split in half. Maybe just trim them a little bit. Okay. So then what I tend to do is pile them up as I've cut them. Okay. Square, 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 square. And then, so they're quite small and they're a bit bigger. So the pile will be going out that way. Okay. And so just a few more here. And I'll show you how to shape them. So basically, once you learn how to make the first one, the, the others are just all the same, except ever so slightly bigger. Okay, very good. So so then you're you're left with a pile of little squares. Do you know, it kind of looks like cheese. It does look like cheese. <laughs> I'm kind of getting hungry now. <laughs> um, so then you take your sharp scissors and make it into a circle. Very good. You're so good at that, Gwen. I'm so useless at cutting circles. <laughs> I I have made probably about 200 of this type. So this is the one that I'm best at and quickest at. So is this the one? Like, So Gwen made these for her um, wedding bouquet. So is this the, the one that was the most prominent in your bouquet then? Did we just um, there were quite a lot of them in the bouquet, but it was mostly on the tables. Ah, that okay. There were four on each table and there were 13 tables. There were about probably 25 on the top table. So Oh my goodness. Yeah, there were a lot of them. Uh, but they're also, I think, the simplest of the ones that I've done. Um, well, that's good to know. It's good to know this is going to be easy because I'm going to have to yeah. do this shortly. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. Yes. Um, so yeah, you just continue. And if you keep... Okay, so that one I managed to cut way smaller. So I'll put that at the bottom. Okay. Um, so it's important to kind of keep these stacked then? I mean, it's not really important. It just helps. It makes it easier at the end. Yeah. Because... Yeah. Um, as you're building up your flower, you want to go from small to large. Okay. So we'll be starting at the top of the pile and working our way down. Very good. So I think you have the... The idea here, yeah. yes. We know what we're doing. Okay. So put them aside. Very good. And I'll show you how to put more glue into this. Ah, I think it's very helpful. Running we're out. near the end. Yeah. So you take your glue stick and you place it in there and push. And now it's ready to go. <laughs> that was very simple. <laughs> it's not very complicated. <laughs> so, um, we're going to take one of our florist wires. Just bend it. Bend, bend it in half. half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, yeah, we, we will use this since it's here. What's it called? Am I allowed to ask that question? Mm, I've forgotten what it's called. It's a... Uh, the squisher. Pliers, yes. The pliers. The squishers. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say secateurs, which is definitely wrong. No. No. Okay, so... We're going to take, these are some that I made earlier. It's always handy to have some made yeah. earlier. So I'm going to take kind of a mid-sized one. Okay. Or maybe a slightly smaller. That size. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to fold it in half. Yes. 
and then make a little snip. Mm, very good. And then what you do is, I hope this is with our warm glue then. Yes. So you kind of squirt a little bit in there. Okay, so we basically squirted a circle around, yeah. uh, not covering the hole naturally. And then you put your, your flower swirl in the middle and then kind of squish it. Squish it in, in an attractive way. <laughs> They're more technical, so we're kind of going in half and then in again. Yeah, kind of concertina-y, if you can see that there. So that is the very center of your... Let me just see. So that's your flower. This lovely bit here. There we go. So then you take your next petal. Okay, very good. And you squirt a little bit of glue on the very bottom. So this is the smallest one, is it? So this is the smallest one, yeah. Okay. And then you just kind of... Okay. I get you, so it's just gently... Yeah, so it's only on the very bottom of it and you kind of shape it as you go. Okay. So, um, since these are all hand cut, they're all slightly different sizes. You push the glue in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, so just a little just blob about, at the bottom. About that much glue, just so that it adheres. Okay, very good. And then you overlap slightly. And then you just pinch, hold, hold pinch at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Sure, it already looks very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you can do them as big or as small as you want. Um, you could just do, just do three petals and sure, look, you're done. You could. I mean, flowers come in all different sizes. They do. And we come in varying levels of um, ambition. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you might only want a small flower. You might only um, want. And, I mean, I've seen... <gasps> that'd be nice in a lapel, wouldn't it? It would, yes. Yeah, yeah, that'd be really sweet. Yeah, I did similar ones for our, our buttonholes. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, and, like, I've seen ones with just buds as well as the main flower. So it's kind of... The size of it depends on how big the flower is. Really? Okay, very good. And um, so this is, that's covered all of the, the bottom. Okay. So basically we just, sorry, I should yeah. stop talking over you. So you just keep going. Yeah. And it builds up and up and up. And then you stop when you decide that your flower is big enough. Yeah. So you could do this size, you could do bigger, you could do that size. Yeah. It's all very lovely, really. And I mean, if, if you have a bouquet and this one is bigger or a different, slightly different shape than the other one, that's. Natural. Exactly. Yeah, flowers flower. are different. So that is the basis of it. And I mean, if you kept building up, it would probably get to be that big. Okay, um, this felt is actually a little bit soft for it. And um, this thicker felt is slightly better. Just kind of keeps its, its shape a bit. Okay, so basically what, if you're do it, you are doing this for, for, well, for whatever reason, you'd be making these flowers a thick felt yeah. will hold for longer. Um, and. But if you are using a thinner felt, probably a smaller flower would look better. Okay. That one is a bit smushed. Also, I haven't taken terribly good care of it. <laughs> oh, it yeah, looked... this is about two years old now, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, and it came over in a bag today. It so did. It's kind of it was squished. lovingly squished into a bag yes. today. So <laughs> that's, the start, that's the start of that one. And Great. I will continue that one later. Gwen has given us to see mm -hmm. if they're easy to follow 
and um, I'm very, very, very bad at making things. So if I can do it, you can do it. But I haven't done it yet, so we don't know if I can do it yet. Um, I believe okay. you. <laughs> it's not that hard. Okay. So what we're doing is about the 3.5. Yeah, that um, looks good. 3.5 centimeters or 35 mils. Mm -hmm. So desperately trying to cut straight, but... If, okay. if one end goes a bit short, a bit... Uh, wonky. Wonky, then just start with the narrower end because they, they'll be smaller petals. Oh, sure, look, he knew I was going to be wonky at the end. <laughs> I was wonky as well, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, right, so then we're going to go about five mil. Yeah. Okay, so we got our three, and so then the idea is to... <laughs> Square them off. Yeah, well, I will, I will try. So we're just closing one eye to give me an idea of what square looks like. <laughs> And now we kind of have our lovely stack. Yeah. Okay. And it's getting bigger. That's it what you want. It definitely is. We're going yeah. like a pyramid. Yeah. Very yeah. exciting. This okay. one looks less like cheese. Less like cheese. Very moldy. <laughs> um, okay. So what I'm going to do now is do the circle. So yeah. what I might do is try and make this a little more square before yeah, I go that's in. Fine. So I've just trimmed an edge off there. And then I am going to try. And I should really do... get a new scissors because this one is. That's why I'm having trouble, Ben. Yeah, that, that's your, that's your scissors. Maybe maybe I shouldn't get a new scissors because then you wouldn't be able to use that as an excuse. No, <laughs> that's very true. That's very true. Well, that is a circle, if ever that's I saw a one. That's it, a petal. It's definitely a petal. Yeah. It's not a circle. <laughs> These are surprisingly good, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Gwen. They're surprisingly good. Yeah, they, they sounded like it was really difficult, but they look really nice. They're so, all right. Yeah. They're not too bad. I haven't shamed myself just no. yet. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the center one now. Yep, yeah, cool. So I'm going to take this one. So this is probably the largest of the three that I did, yeah. just to give me a little more room. So we're taking the largest one that I did. Yep. And I'm cut, divide, I'm uh, folding it in half. half. Yep. Great. And then I'm doing a little snip in the very center. Just a tiny little snip yep. right there. Yep. Okay. okay. So we can see that. Great. And that will definitely fit up through. Yep. So now we're going to get the glue gun. Yep. And so I'm going to glue all the way around. So just it's in kind a of circle. A, yeah. Okay, so um, I just want to have a little look. I think those petals would be too small. So I think we're actually going to need the bigger one, aren't we? Okay. Um, that's that's my personal opinion anyway. Obviously, it is a personal preference, so you can do whatever you want yourselves. So I'm just putting a little blob of glue on yep. there. And so, so yeah, at the very bottom of that. Yeah, lovely. Oh my goodness, that is hot. You have to be careful. Yeah. This is why I wouldn't recommend using an actual hot glue gun. Yeah, because this is hotter. actually warm. Jeez. Okay, so then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there at the base. Yeah, lovely. Okay, and then I'm going to try and overlap these. So, this way about there. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll just do the last. To the over. Yeah, yeah. Looks good, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, I actually think looking at this, I probably should have done the petals a little bit higher than I have done them. Um, so you can kind of see um, I've kind of gone down a bit low on the stem. I probably should have done them a little bit higher, but that still looks okay. Yeah. Some flowers look like that. This one does. <laughs> <laughs> So you can kind of see the Gwen's slightly more professional than the, you know, they're... But I have made 200 of them. She so. has made 200 of them, yeah. yeah. But I think for a first attempt, that's not bad. Um, okay, so we'll put that one back down there. Okay, so 
there you go. Listen, thank you so much, Gwen, for showing us how to do this. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please fill out the comment section at the bottom. Also, if there's anything you'd like to, to, to know how to make, please let us know, and uh, we'll try and learn how to make it and do a video on it. Um, we're hoping to do these videos regularly, so please subscribe to our channel if you like it, and um, thank you again for watching. Bye.